This guide illustrates how a trainee can fill in a workplace-based assessment form. From the main menu, click Add. Then, under Evidence, select the WBA from the list. Although each WBA is designed for a different training situation, the forms all work in a similar way, except for the MSF, which is covered separately. Then add the assessment date. Type your rater's name and click on the name when it appears, or select from your most recent choices. Select the hospital in the same way. This may be pre-populated with your most recent choice. You can add or remove in the same way. Your rater's feedback is a mandatory field because of its importance in formative assessment. They can write in any of the four areas. In trainee feedback, you have a space to add your own comments. In trainee reflections, you can also evidence your reflective practice. You can choose to make this non-private, which means viewable by anyone who can see your portfolio, or private to you. Bear in mind that like all training records, reflections may be subject to scrutiny by other parties for legal reasons, and therefore should be fully anonymised. Ratings are normally assessed against the stage of training. It can be not assessed, development required, satisfactory or outstanding in each of the domains described. Next provide the details of the event, the clinical setting, emergency or elective case, whether it was performed in a simulated setting or on a course. Then type in a summary of the problem. How complex the case was and the focus of the encounter. You can also describe whether the patient was a new or follow-up patient. The global summary is an overall rating from four levels according to the stage of training. So, a core trainee may achieve level 2 in most areas by the end of CT2, and an ST3 trainee may achieve level 3 in most areas by the end of ST4 and so on. Topics allows you to link this assessment with a syllabus topic to demonstrate learning against a syllabus. Click on the orange View Syllabus button. You'll see the latest syllabus you've been working to. Click the down arrow to choose topics from other syllabuses. Select the topics that are relevant. And click Done. Topics will then appear in the WBA form. You can save the WBA as a draft or submit it to your rater. Or your rater can validate it by adding their ISCP password, but they must have filled in their formative comments. The rater can type their password here and then the assessment can be validated.